Sabine Bergman. And I'm Savani Babu. We are the co-founders of Hidden Compass, an award-winning company that's turning nerds like journalists, scientists, artists, and explorers into household names. As nerdy journalists ourselves, we feel that nuanced, challenging stories are stifled by the modern media business model. So we started a publication that doesn't rely on clicks, targeted advertising, or selling user data. Instead, we're leveraging the power of community. We have a unique opportunity here. You have a unique opportunity to meet the journalists behind this piece and to directly support their story with a contribution. 50% of proceeds support Hidden Compass, and the other 50% are paid to this journalist in addition to our rates. This business model is unprecedented in our industry. Your participation helps us champion journalism that's nuanced and sustainable, the antidote to clickbait. Here's a journalist who will get us there. My name is Daniel Hudon, and I'm a writer and educator in Boston. I'm a trained astronomer, and I teach math and science at the university level. I also lead an astronomy class for inmates at a medium security prison here in Massachusetts. And in my free time, I dance the Argentine tango. I am fascinated by our place in time and space. Searching for clues to our past is one of my favorite excuses to go out and explore the natural world. Whether following dinosaur footprints in Western Massachusetts or a much larger excursion to see the Burgess Shale in the spectacular Canadian Rockies. Sometimes stories grab hold of me and won't let go. I felt that way while hiking through the cloud forest of Monteverde in Costa Rica, where I heard about the loss of the endemic golden toad, which went extinct at the end of the 1980s. And the wonder that this species had, had inspired among the locals who remembered it. That experience compelled me to write my book, Brief Eulogies for Lost Animals, an extinction reader, which looks at the biodiversity crisis through the stories of creatures that are gone far too soon. I also felt that way several years ago when I read about a new discovery at Mistaken Point in Newfoundland from the Edia Karen era. There was this little leaf or leaf-like creature buried in a rock. So it was buried too low to ever be um, part of, to, to ever photosynthesize somewhere down, down, down on the seafloor, you know, far too low for sunlight. So it had to be an animal of some sort. I thought, I must go and see that. So a couple of years ago, I traveled to Mistaken Point. I stayed about an hour away and at my accommodation, there was this binder for traveler's information. And Mistaken Point was in there, but the write-up was a little, a little less enthusiastic about it. It's like, yeah, you know, there's fossils here, but you know, don't get your hopes up for something so, so wow as the mega fossils of dinosaurs or T-Rex or something like that. Maybe you won't be impressed. This actually only made me want to see them even more. The whole place was so special, and I felt lucky to be there a particular moment in Earth's history has been exposed. Seeing is believing. Fossils attach us to the long timeline of this planet through the eons. We didn't appear suddenly. It was a long, slow process that fossils allow us to see and appreciate. Telling their stories helps us understand who we are and where we fit into this big picture of life on Earth. Thanks so much for watching, and please contribute to support this journalist. Visit hiddencompass.net to immerse yourself in this story and many others. Together, we'll create a future that celebrates journalists who research the unknown, helicopter in, snowshoe out, dive deep, and invite us to discover. These are our new influencers. Explorers are in. Are you?